This video is for you if you want to lose weight with PCOS. If you've tried losing weight with PCOS and you didn't see results, or maybe you even saw results but you gained everything back and was still you don't even feel confident in yourself. See, I can relate, okay? Because one minute you're thriving, the next minute you fall off the wagon, you're back to square one. And you know, it's really not like that for people who do not have PCOS. This is what we are struggling with. And we have to deal with it now i'm going to share with you a sample of the one day's meal plan for pcos but before i do i want you to listen carefully and have this basic info i am going to share with you at your fingertips with pcos our metabolism is not so good compared to others who do not have pcos now what this means is our body is not so good or effective in utilizing the food we eat into energy our body is only good in storing glucose and fats but not converting them effectively into energy now because of this you have to really take note of what goes into your body now have this at the back of your mind that if you want to lose weight with pcos you have to do a low carb high protein and high fiber meal plan now this is not to say you will not eat carbs at all but we will do more of complex carbs like yams like plantain we find carbs like white bread white rice uh, junks or other sweet treats will be minimal even when you have them always pair with a rich source of protein and fiber or one of the two or what what are the benefits of a high protein diet now with pcos we constantly deal with cravings and hunger what a high protein diet does is it helps um, to increase satiety and also improve our feeling of fullness so we crave less and we are not also hungry now with improving our feeling of fullness it also helps us save calories so we are eating in calorie deficits and we are losing weight a lot of women with pcos suffer from insulin resistance making us prone to pre-diabetes and even diabetes quite a number of us with pcos using it for me protein has minimal impact on your blood sugar levels compared to carbs so definitely protein will help you stabilize your blood sugar levels and also help you lose weight in time protein also helps to improve our body's metabolism and is also necessary in the production of some of our hormones so with a high protein diet it can even help you um, alleviate or even improve some of the symptoms you are experiencing like the irregular menstrual cycles the acne and even the obesity we are dealing with now let's get to the meal plan when creating meal plans i always like to be as realistic as possible because it ensures sustainability and you're not also burdened with the plan so don't be surprised if you see white bread here okay <laughs> so you see that the plan is actually not different from the regular meals you are used to there are just the modifications all right so if you're trying to lose weight with pcos i would like to encourage you to try intermittent fasting minimum of a 12 hour fast maximum of an 18 hour fast don't go overboard because intermittent fasting also has added benefits like helping the body to trigger fat burning improving insulin sensitivity weight loss benefits and so on and if you like a pcos plan you can always check our website at myfoodsandcalories.com to get a pcos plan if you also want your plan to come personalized custom made for you you can always send a message to official foods and calories at gmail.com or send a dm to our instagram page at foods and calories now the target is to aim for a minimum of 30 grams of protein in each meal well just so you know toasting your bread doesn't convert it from white bread to wheat bread or brown bread <laughs> inside you now when choosing your brand of greek yogurt i want you to go for low fat and also check if it has a very high value of protein in fact always go for a greek yogurt with the highest value of protein our sauce for dinner is protein rich because it was cooked with lots of dried prawns and also local beans was added this gives the total amount of protein for the day to be about 99.5 that's about 100 grams of protein for the day and it is feeling nutritious and yes no cravings you get to lose weight and you also get to enjoy what you eat